everyone and welcome back to Udalali Disney Crafts and Fun. My name is Lindsay and in this week's video it's a little bit different. It's not exactly a Disney themed video by any means but it's a very sentimental one and what we're going to be making this week are DIY pet paw prints out of salt dough. So it's a non-toxic formula and very safe to use for your for babies or if you have kids and I love this idea because I've always been a very sentimental person and I like to freeze in time as much as I can something of someone so whether it's our pets that are only here for a short but beautiful amount of time or our kids which I don't have kids yet but I know that once I become a mom I will be implementing this um, as my kids grow up is to capture their handprints or footprints and see the evolution of their growth and I just think it's a really sweet sentimental thing to have so that it reminds you of how small they were or you know when your pets are gone which is a really sad thought I, I don't even want to think about it but when our pets are no longer with us to be able to look back on their little paw prints um, this is such a sweet little project and you can make this into an ornament, you can make this into a plate that you display, you can create it into a shadow box, which is what I did today. And Indy, who is my brother's dog, he's my little, I'm his auntie, his fur auntie. I don't know if there's the exact term for it, but I am his little fur auntie and I spoil the heck out of him. And um, he actually made his first appearance in my very, very, very first YouTube video and at the very end of the video he makes his little appearance and he is just the little love of my life and i just adore him and he was actually named after indiana jones because yes we are indiana jones fans in this family so and i couldn't even i mean to look at him he is indy like there's no other name for him without further ado let's go ahead and make our little paw prints So after these come out of the oven, you do want them to cool down and I don't immediately start painting them. I continue to let these curate for as much time as I possibly can. So these have been sitting out for a few weeks now actually. And as you can see, they've completely dried up and they are very hard, which is what you want. And I did go ahead and start painting this one back when I first wanted to do this project and Quite frankly, I decided, no, I want it to be more of a Halloween project. So if you noticed here, and I'm kind of on the fence because I don't know what to do with this one. So Indy was a little bit finicky when it came down to actually stamping his footprint in here. He's not one of those dogs that you can just pick up and just plop his foot into the dough. He literally had to be bribed with treats <laughs> so that we could get the footprints that we needed. And as you can see, so these came out really good. And the other one that I gifted my brother, um, I gifted him pretty much what we're doing today, but for Father's Day. And I'll insert a picture here of what that actually looked like. It was so cute and he was so incredibly happy with it because Indy is his little fur baby. I have these three left over and I'm kind of like, well, maybe I should just kind of put them in a row like this. Maybe cut this one down a little bit to be a little bit smaller inside. I'm not sure. So I'm still thinking on that. So while I think on that, I am gonna go ahead and just paint the two that I know for sure I want to use in the project. So I did want to make this because the picture that I'm using is this one. And he was wearing this really adorable pumpkin colored Charlie Brown shirt. And I just thought that would be adorable to make like a Halloween inspired background with this um, and I possibly want to paint these in like a pumpkin color as well just to kind of correspond with the color <laughs> of his shirt so that's kind of my thought process so I'm going to go ahead and start painting these and maybe put some gold accents where his little paw print is. Shimmer 
something in the air and a sparkly shimmer on our skin. Restoring everything within. Oh, dreamy breezy we go. Easy, easy on our tiptoe. Out of sand, reaching for the grand. As willows align, we lose track of time. Head up high, now we climb. Oh, oh, oh. dreamy, breezy, we go. Out of sand, reaching for the grand. As willows align, we lose track of time. Head up high, now we climb. Oh, oh, oh. dreamy, breezy, we go.
This is what it ended up looking like and I absolutely love it so there's little Inzi I had three left over um, from our little baking session and I was like you know what I'm gonna make this into something for myself to keep because I love this little guy I mean look at him how could you not love that little face oh I just want to squeeze him but I adore him and his little paws and even this one it got kind of messed up if you can see it's a little bit skewed but I couldn't even bring myself to throw that out so I managed to kind of trim it up and just utilize it into a smaller piece here but the whole design I, I really enjoy working with scrapbook papers and also vintage books this is actually from a vintage Charlie Brown book which is one of my favorites during this time of year, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. This is from 1967, in really, really good condition. And I actually have two of these books because this one I wanted to kind of cut apart and one to actually keep for my collection. But Indy in this particular photo is wearing a Charlie Brown inspired shirt. So hence why I chose It's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. So I love how it turned out. I did a lot of paper piecing and just added a lot of texture with the tissue paper. I have the glass off so you can actually see it because with the glass there would be so much of a glare. But um, a lot of just texture so I added some tissue paper and in this little vial here I have his little nail that actually um, came off at some point as he was growing up. He's still, he's six years old now but he's still a little puppy in my eyes. But his little nail had come off and my brother gifted it to me because he knows how much I adore this little creature. So I put his nail in this vial so it would forever be safe and I wouldn't have to worry about losing it. So again, this is made out of the salt dough, which is non-toxic, just using household baking items. And so it's a really great idea if you have kids, if you have fur babies, because you don't have to worry about what they're touching and the toxicity level of what they're touching so very very safe for them and the outcome is something that you will forever have and you can look back on it with really fond memories which i really love all right guys so that is it for this week's video i really hope that you guys have an opportunity to make this project i'd love to see what you guys end up turning it into whether it's a shadow box a plate an ornament for your Christmas tree. That would be really, really fun. It's really easy and something that will be forever with you long after your pets are gone or your kids have grown up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications for future Disney, Halloween, and crafty content to come. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.